Colonial League Boys Soccer opened yesterday afternoon and one of the first league contests of 2009 was a rematch of last year's Colonial League Championship game between Northwestern and Saucon Valley. Panthers won that title with a 2-1 victory over the Tigers and then went on to finish second in the District 11 2A tournament. Kristen Mayer has the highlights. With the realignment of the Colonial League, Northwestern's now in the North Division and Saucon Valley's in the South. But like every other year, this is the first and only time these two teams will meet in the regular season. In the first half, the Panthers work to get on the board. Kyle Shannon takes a shot that ends up in the hands of Northwestern keeper Nathan Kester. Later in the half, Saucon Valley comes close again, but the Tiger D is there to make the stop, keeping the game scoreless 30 minutes into the action. Northwestern takes a shot of their own, but the Panthers' Max Hennig makes a diving stop. With 2.02 left in the half, Max Kersian throws in a good ball. That Tucker Sandercock heads past a leaping Kester into the back corner of the net. The Panthers are on the board. They lead 1-0. In the second half, the Tigers continue to fight as they try to even out the score. But with 23-17 left to play, Shannon passes one to Sandercock as he drives it in for the score. Salkin Valley's on top, 2-0. Northwestern continues to fight as time winds down, but Hennig does his part to shut out the Tigers as Salkin Valley goes on to claim the 2-0 victory. It was a, a battle the whole game. It was really hard to get in opportunities, and my first goal was so hard because every time uh, we had a throw in, I got doubled and triple teamed. So I really had a fight for the ball, and I just flicked it over the keeper's head and pretty lucky goal, I thought. The guys really played well. They possessed the ball. They moved it across the field, um, worked out well. A lot of guys did a lot of unselfish things today. Um, asked them to D up instead of playing offense like they normally do, and they really closed out a, a tough win against a good Northwestern squad. Northwestern head coach Fernando Carrizo was pleased with the effort his Tigers gave on the field, but he wasn't happy with some of the calls that led to the two Saucon Valley goals. Defensively, uh, we did great. Um, I, the ball where it started was from the number 14 on Saucon. Uh, both were foul throws, and they ended up being goals. And, uh, you know,